Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 223 of Constructing Los Angeles. How is everybody doing? We are back on the city today. We are ready to continue to make some progress. So guys, today I was actually originally planning on building something completely different than what I'm planning on building today, which that came out pretty confusing, but let me clarify. So today I'm going to be working on the city hall. So you might be thinking, well, Dan, I thought the city hall was done. Well, guess what, guys? I thought too, I, I could have sworn that I finished this thing uh, a few weeks ago, and I was actually coming on the game today to record a final tour of the city hall to upload for you guys to watch, and I was just kind of going through the building, and I realized that there are actually, uh, there's an, actually an entire level of this floor that I completely forgot to do, so let me, uh, let me show you guys uh, this real quick today, and then today I'm going to be working on it. So pretty much everything on the first floor is done, all the rooms are furnished and everything, and then the second floor over there is done. However, I completely spaced out and I forgot about the second floor of this part of the city hall. So right in here, this entire space has been completely un unbuilt and unfurnished. So that is going to be the mission for today's episode, guys. We are going to build some sort of little department for the city, a municipal department or something like that today. And let me just give you guys a sneak peek of what this place is looking like on the interior. So we have a couple of reception desks right here. I'm just gonna kind of peek around the corner, just peek around the corner right here. This is the, well, it's supposed to be the city council chamber. So, um, you know, let's, let's not spoil it to anything else. Let's go ahead and get started with the building. So obviously the first thing I think of when I think about a city hall is parks and recreation. One of my favorite comedies ever. So I'm going to be thinking about that a little bit when I think about doing an interior of a city hall. So. Uh, maybe I'll do a parks department up here because I think that'd be pretty cool to have the Los Angeles parks parks department because we can have some Some uh, I guess there's ocelots in this game that we can turn into some kitty cats And then we also have some dogs that can roam around in the park in the middle of the city So I feel like the parks department would be uh would have its hands full here in Los Angeles with all the parks that we have And by one we have literally one park in the middle of the city That's not very big, but still parks department today Los Angeles. Let's do it. Okay So let's start off with the floor plan. Uh, obviously we have kind of the entrance right here I'm thinking I need some sort of a uh, desk that kind of just uh, divides the space. So let's say we take a desk out right here and then we'll also take it out to like there. And then that opening will be kind of just like the entrance for the employees. Or if you have an appointment over here, you can just kind of wait until someone is ready to see you a la Leslie Nope. And you can come in here and have your meeting. So let's go ahead and just figure this out. So obviously we have that right there. And then obviously we need to put some waiting areas here. Some some places where people can sit. So I'm going to grab some oak wood stairs for this. I'm just going to kind of put some little benches uh, over here on the side. Just some simple ones. You know, just your standard 2012 Minecraft benches. Uh, nothing too crazy. So I guess I'll just add one more here in the corner like that. And maybe we'll actually have this one kind of go around the corner like that. And then we'll add one more here right up against the, the desk. So we got some benches there for the people. Obviously, I'm going to have to light this a little bit better. But just for now, because uh, it is dark, I'm just going to go ahead and place some beacons in that corner. So we'll light that a little bit better. And this is just going to be kind of like the waiting area for the people. So we have that done. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some... Let's see. I'm going to grab some dark oak wood uh, fences. I'm going to put those right here. I'm also going to grab some slabs and i'm gonna grab some let's see what should we add for this how about some some spruce wood let's do some spruce wood so i'm gonna put some slabs right here as this desk because we kind of want this thing elevated a little bit just to show that uh you know you can't just like stare right at people that's always like a thing you see in waiting rooms like really tall desks so you can't just stare right at the person that's behind it um so there we go that's like our little desk here so someone will sit right here and be like hello welcome to the parks department you need to talk to Dan, nope, and they'll come in here and they'll be like, yes, I need to talk to that person. And they will get their park issues figured out. Hopefully the people in Los Angeles aren't as in clinically insane as people in Pawnee, but you know, you never know because the population in the city, you know, it's uh, it's lacking. There's only one person here. So let me go ahead and place that right there as just kind of like a little extra thing. I'm gonna go ahead and create myself a little bit of a, a chair here. So for the chair, I'm just gonna go, go standard here. I'm just gonna use the dark oak wood. Place a chair like that and like that. Boom, we have a chair. So that is going to be like the front desk here for the parks department. So now let's go ahead and make some cubicles slash some office spaces. So obviously we need uh, just like a standard office, you know, the parks director, uh, Dan Swanson. So we'll put this in the corner. So um, what should we have? Should this have two windows or just one? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with just, 
No, I'll go two. Okay, so so let's say the corner of the office is right here, okay? We'll take this across right here and right here. And we'll have a door opening right there. We'll have a window on this side. So that'll go there. This will connect across like that. And I believe I'll just kind of fill that in right there, right here as well. And now I'll go ahead and grab some, let's, what, what do we want to use for the windows? You want to just use regular, regular glass? I think that's fine. We'll just use some regular glass. Okay. I don't use regular glass too much anymore, but I'll go with it. All right. So there we go. We have just like a little window that looks into this office and I'll obviously do the same thing on this side, kind of have this get filled in like this and boom, just like that. We have ourselves a little office. Let me grab a upside down stair, place that right here. We'll place a door and we will go ahead and place a full block. And then just like that, we have a little office space here for the director of the parks department. This is pretty nice. I'll put a desk here, put some paintings and things like that. So that's just like a nice office on the side. Uh, in the middle here, I, we should definitely have like a, a secretary. I'm, I'm, I swear I'm gonna build this like exactly like, like the Pawnee thing, but I will have like the secretary for <laughs> for Ron Swanson right here. So April will sit right here. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen this show, I'm probably confusing the hell out of you right now. So I'll probably uh, try to keep this a little bit standardized for everybody. So I apologize, but we'll have the uh, secretary for the parks director right here. That's pretty cool. Um, and then what else can we add? Well, let's, we gotta add some more stuff. We gotta add some more spacing. So we can definitely add another desk right here. So I'll put this right here. In fact, this would probably be a better spot for this because it's uh, you can see through the window, so you can kind of communicate through the window, I guess. So this will be a better spot for that desk. That's actually good, so I'll turn this into something else. Uh, what I could probably do is actually create another office on this side. So how, how many blocks wide is this? So we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, cool. So I can do, we'll have like a little hallway right here. That's that's gonna be the way we're gonna do this, all right? Let me grab a beacon again. I just could have sworn that I grabbed a beacon. I guess I grabbed the what is that, a mossy stone brick instead? <laughs> I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and actually switch this out for some cords. So uh, I think this is going to look pretty good. I, I, I can't believe I spaced out and forgot about this room. I, I've literally had this building done for like almost a month now. And I was like just trying to find some time to do like a final tour of it. I'm like, you know what? Today would be the perfect day to do that. I come on the world. I go in. I'm like, all right, this is, this is going to be good. I'm going to do a final tour of this. I'm going to have a like nice theme to it. And then I come up here and I realize it's not done. So I'm like, you know what? Plan B, we're going to make a CLD today and we're going to finish this freaking place. So we'll at least get the uh, floor plan put in and I can do the furnishing later on. So uh, definitely within the week or so, guys, I'm going to put out a final tour of this place once I have enough time to finish everything up and that will be pretty good. So let me go ahead and add that glass here. So we basically have two identical offices here. I think that's fine. Uh, so this is going to be like, well, that'll be the, uh, the manager obviously the uh, manager of the parks department then over here we have deputy director <laughs> so that'll be in this room so we have those two i probably just put like a printer at the end of this here since uh you know this is kind of just like an empty space in that corner so i'll probably just put like a printer there or something like that or a copying machine uh next thing we got to do is add some more desks so we have obviously the desk right there uh we need to put a few more desks here so let's go ahead and add one two three one two three so we have two desks there for one person and then in the middle here, I'm gonna add a table. So obviously right now I'm just kind of like laying out the perimeter, but I don't think I have enough space for like a big conference room. So uh, this'll do, this'll be totally okay. Or what I could do is I could turn this into a conference room and then I could just simply have, you know, that actually might be a better idea. Let's give that a try. Let's turn this into a conference room instead of two offices because I think a conference room will be better for this space anyway. Uh, we don't need two of the same kind of office. So. Uh, we'll only have one closed-in office, and then we'll have a con uh, conference room. So let's do that instead. All right, so this will go down right here, and this will connect across. So the new plan is that we have a conference room in that corner, which is a pretty wide space. That should be good for, like, a long table, a projector, and things like that. We have the manager's office. We have the secretary's desk here. We have the front desk. We have an extra desk for another employee there, and that's pretty much what the parks department is going to look like here in Los Angeles. So uh, that'll work great. And as far as if you guys are wondering what else is in the city hall, I tried to obviously I added the city council chamber, which I hope is accurate. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm also I also added just like another like, uh, you know, department on the other side of the second floor. So uh, it doesn't really have a theme. I guess I could just kind of do it whatever I wanted, I guess. But it, yeah, like I said, it, it doesn't really have a theme, but 
I guess I could think of something before the final tour. Uh, whether that be, oh, I could do like divorce filings or something like that. Uh, that'd be funny. All right, so uh, so there we go. That's a little bit better. So now we have a conference room, and we have the office in the corner, and then we have another desk right here. So that'll look pretty nice. Let me go ahead and put some light on this wall here, so so you guys can see a little bit better. So uh, that's looking pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. I, I gotta find a way to kind of utilize this space a little bit better, though. I feel like I'm not utilizing it very well. Um, maybe this could be something different instead of having an office right there or a secretary desk. I could have it like along the wall here instead. That way I could have another desk. Eh, nah, let's leave it how it was. Um, all right, so one, two, three, four. So I think that's pretty good. I, I still want to have like a table in the middle here. So maybe like right there I can put a table. I don't know if that's going to be enough space. Maybe this conference room is a little bit too big and maybe I didn't plan this out very good. Or, I mean, maybe I should have just left it the way it was and just had uh, two offices because this conference room is taking up a lot of space. Um, hmm. Tough calls, tough calls. Maybe I'll just make it in the middle. Uh, maybe we don't need a conference room. Look, I think there's some extra space on the other side of this wall, actually. Nah, that's not nearly enough space. All right, so let's just... Um, well, I'll probably move it back to the way it was, but I'm trying to think, like, if I go around the other parts of the of the city hall i'm trying to find like another place where i could put a conference room like over there i have like the city manager's office on that side i have a bunch of stuff so i don't think there's going to be any space for stuff over there but i'm trying to find like a spot where i could add a, a conference room at some point but uh let's go ahead and i'm just going to leave it like this for now i think um is it perfect no but it's good enough i think so uh, let's go ahead and start to just kind of turn this stuff into some actual desks. I think that's going to be like, kind of like the next strategy here. So uh, let me go ahead and grab some quartz and things like that. Just like all the same stuff I've been using. Uh, let me grab some spruce stairs and some slabs that are made out of dark oak wood. Grab some dark oak wood doors. And let's just start to make some desks here. So let me actually push this one out one extra block to here. I'm going to go ahead and put some slabs, put some, what is, what's blocking me? Oh, the beacon. Uh, put some slabs, I'm gonna put some upside down stairs and then I'm gonna add some dark oak wood slabs right here and here. And then of course, what I can do is I can add a com computadora here on the desk. So hopefully I won't run into painting problems. You know I will run into painting problems. What am I thinking? Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab some danvils, anvils. We gotta add some of those. I'm gonna put this in the corner here because I think that'll be a good spot for it. Maybe just one. Yeah, let's just do one there. I could probably add another one. Like, there's, I'm sure there's another spot that would be really good for one. Maybe even here. That could be a pretty solid spot for our Danville Zanville. Not too bad. All right, let me go ahead and grab some more beacons. Obviously, the uh, I need to light this place a little bit better because it's, it's pretty dark right now. But there's our first desk right there in the corner. Let's do a similar desk right here. So I'm going to go one, two, three. And then we got our slabs right there, or upside down stairs. I don't think I'm gonna have enough space there for a, like a full like chair with a back to it. So probably just do a little stair there as the chair. Just do a, you know, a stair chair. <laughs> the classic stair chair in Minecraft. And then in the middle here, I'm gonna turn this into a table. So let's go ahead and grab some, uh, let's do oak wood fences and let's grab some, what color should we use for the, the table? How about gray? I think that'll look pretty good. And also, you know what I should take some time to do real quick? I should take some time to light the ceiling. So let's do that real quick. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and do one there. And we'll do one right here. So let's just try to find like a solid interval. Let's do an interval of three. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, that's two, so that's not gonna work. Uh, one, two, three. I could do it here. And then there'll be three away from that wall. That could work as well. There's no rhyme or reason to it, to be honest, though. Let um, me grab some... What am I looking for here? Pillar quartz. That's right. So we'll place uh, pillar quartz right in here. That looks pretty good. And I think that's how I'm going to do the ceiling in here, or the lighting in the ceiling. So I'll get rid of that real quick. All right. So we got one and three like that. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So one, two, three there. Uh, one, two, three, four. So this is not going to work very well, unfortunately. So I'll probably have to do like two and two. So two and two. That's like the best way for me to make that. So yeah, we'll do two and two. So there'll be two block wide spaces there like that. 
and then again we're gonna go one two three and same thing here one uh right here i guess is gonna be where the last one is uh is that right one two three this is like wait that's four there that's not right i was gonna say there was something wrong about that all right we'll fix that real quick and last one would go right here okay so that's better let me fix this up in the ceiling so now I don't have to worry about the lighting anymore. It's very well lit in here, so we can break that. And let's add this table. Okay, so back to business. Let's grab some string. I gotta grab, get some of that. Uh, string, where are you? Here we go. And let's go just add a small table here in the middle. This is just maybe where you could eat lunch or things like that. You know, nothing, just a little table. That's, that's nothing else to it. All right, so we'll throw that in there. And there we go. I have a little table in the middle, so. We have the reception desk for the manager. We have another desk over here for another employee. We have a conference room. We have a uh, table in the middle. We have a front desk here. So technically we will have one, two, three, four employees. So I guess we could have a deputy director, a secretary, an extra person. I don't know what this person's title would be. And then obviously the manager. So four, four employees for this department. I think that's good enough. Uh, that should work pretty nicely. So this is this room is actually looking pretty good. So let's uh, finish this up today guys by adding in some stuff on these rooms. So uh, Obviously, I can't add paintings right now, which is a little unfortunate I would have liked to have done that but it is what it is. Uh, I am actually going to start off with a projector. So uh, let me go ahead and place a Cobblestone and then a slab and that's going to work as our projector Which will project onto this wall. I'll probably end up adding a television painting at some point or I might just turn that wall into just gray wool and so it just covers the whole entire space. Uh, right here, I'm gonna put a little table in this corner just so we can have like the laptop that you'll maybe use for to hook up to the projector. We can put it on that table. That would work great. And let's go ahead and add ourselves a little table here. So we got one, two, three, four legs on this table, obviously. And let's go ahead and start to add some string in here. And I'm gonna do the same kind of table as the outside, oak wood legs and the gray carpets on top of that okay and that should look pretty good for this table i would like to add some different kinds of wallpaper to this room as well because obviously uh, i did this throughout the other parts of the building i tried to add some different colors because right now having everything white is just kind of this is kind of silly so what i'm going to do right now is actually kind of mix that up so i'm going to grab some brown wool and i'm going to grab some let's use some acacia wood for this so I'm going to turn this wall right here into some acacia wood. And then I'm going to turn the other wall into some brown walls. So that's what we're going to do for this. I really like acacia wood in the city texture pack. Don't use it a whole lot. There's actually some extra space in there. I don't use it a whole lot, but I probably should because I really do like it. I'm going to turn this into brown wool. And like I said, I might actually end up switching this up to gray wool, depending on if the paintings cooperate or not later on. But just kind of like just mix up the walls in these rooms. Just way they're not all white because... Having everything white walls is just kind of stupid, so I'm gonna try to mix it up as much as I can. All right, so maybe for this wall, I can have like a little line run through of some like light blue. So I'll have a little light blue line run through this wall just to mix up the colors a little bit because it can never hurt. Just add some extra things to the place. All right, so we'll do that. Fill that into the side like that. Just, just add a little bit of a little trim of blue. I think that looks actually really nice. And maybe I can do that throughout the entire area. So fill this in on the side here like that. Kind of have this go around. This could actually look pretty nice. Maybe I can use some different colors of blue as well. That could look good. But let's just start off with like a trim of blue just to see if that's going to add some detail or if it's too much. You know, just got to experiment with this kind of stuff before you finalize anything you do. That's pretty much the philosophy. So let's see how that looks. Just kind of like that trim of blue going around the room. I think that looks actually really nice. Now the question is, it's probably going to affect out here a little bit. So yeah, I figured. Uh, that's fine we can just kind of do it on this side as well just just to add it you know why not it's not gonna hurt anything so that's pretty good uh while i'm at it i might as well put some light out here because this room is pretty dark so let's go ahead and place one there we'll go two and place one there and there and right here so just two block gaps between all those and then i'll jump a few maybe three do another one right here so two and two and two and one more two there we go so just a little bit of lighting up there just to go along with this beautiful red chandelier and uh, this is looking pretty solid here for the parks department of los angeles <laughs> never thought i would build something like this gonna be honest this is something <laughs> pretty
pretty funny. So let me go ahead and add a laptop right there. Well, let's just say that's a closed laptop for now on both sides. Let's just let's just pretend for now, and I'm probably just do another one right there. So um, this is looking pretty good, guys. So I think that's where I'm going to conclude today's episode. Uh, so obviously, you know, this room needs to be filled in as well. We'll, we'll do that later on. And uh, for that room, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Let me just kind of give you guys a quick layout of what my plans are. Uh, in this room, I'm going to have a bench right here, right along the edge of that window. And then there's going to be the office for the manager right there. And that is pretty much what I want to do. So uh, with that, guys, that is going to be the conclusion of today's episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, built something fun today, something interesting to kind of conclude the city hall. So, of course, along with this being done, I'm going to do a final tour of the city hall in a few days. Hopefully by the end of the week, I can have this thing completely finished and uh, it will look pretty nice. So thanks for watching, everybody. We built a parks department today. I love it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave your question today submissions in the comment section. Sorry I didn't get to one today. I promise I will get to one for next episode for 224. But until then, guys, I'll see you then. Have a good day and peace out. Thank you.